Hello, this is Ryan T. Dean, and today we're going to be talking about Final Cut Pro and how to set our, se our sequence settings. And so first thing I have here, I have opened up my Final Cut Pro. And over here in our browser, I've imported two different video clips. And so the first video clip, uh, if you double click on it, you'll see it over here in the viewer. And just from, just from looking at it, you can tell that it's a 16 by 9 um, file. So and over here in our canvas, this is our sequence setting, so we can tell this is a 4x3. So we already know that these two do not match. Um, and to way to, a way to verify that is if you go over here to the browser and you scroll to the right, you'll see a frame size section. So the agvid underscore v1 is frame size is 1440 by 1080 and over here it says over here HDV 1080i60 so now we should know that this this video file will not work in this sequence because they're they're set differently and the one below it which is 480 by 360 is even smaller than the sequence setting which is right here which is 720 by 480 so what we want to do is change our sequence settings uh, first thing you want to do is go up here to Final Cut Pro and then go down to your audio video settings and so now we can verify that our um, our sequence is DV NTSC what we're going to do is want to change it to HDV 1080i60 because that's what our our video file is so we're going to go down our list find HDV 1080i60 um, we be a good idea just to kind of change everything to HDV um, just so there's no problem so everything's switched you're gonna hit OK um, you're gonna notice nothing happened nothing changed with this sequence because what we're gonna have to do is go to file new sequence and so this is the new one this new sequence and the old one we can actually just delete I'm going to put it back up here. So now we can look over here and we see our frame size is the same. So if I drag a file down onto the, it's going to play just fine. So that's how you change your sequence settings and it's very important to have your sequence settings set up correctly otherwise your videos um, could uh, look distorted I'm going to show you if I take this this other video here and drag it down into the sequence settings you're going to notice everything turned red it doesn't fit the frame right it's probably going to lose a lot of quality and it's not even a place so you have to re-render every time you touch that file so it's a very good idea to kind of keep a consistent frame size throughout your whole sequence and um, yeah so thank you for uh, watching and have a good day.